I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Yo, what up? Welcome to Toronto on a Monday morning. The mayor has declared that we have to have an emergency parade and party for the Raptors' victory. So I got absolutely nothing going on today. So, in the words of Drake, who will probably be there, it's you know YOLO. You only live once, so I figured I'd get my ass up and go check this out because really it's going to be historic. The only issue though that I am having is that I had no purple or anything to wear of that kind, and like I don't have any Raptors gear or anything like that. So I'm gonna be scoped out as this anti-freeze looking fair weather fan who's just coming out, but you know, I'm an imposter and I'll, I'll deal with that. The real question for me at this point is that because it is such a momentous moment, are people gonna be drinking at 10 a.m. on a Monday? It's got me in a bit of a situation where I feel like a little bit obliged to have a couple beverages. I don't know exactly how I'm supposed to feel about that, mainly due to the fact it's just not my forte. I am terrible at day drinking. If I start a buzz now, by five o'clock, I'm gonna be, have a headache, have a hangover, be having a nap, you know what I mean? So I don't know, but I feel like people will be turning up and that is gonna be an infectious situation where I may have to turn up a little bit because I mean, hey, I got nothing to do. Well, there's a whole lot of honking, but it has nothing to do with Raptors. It's just people in their cars pissed off that they can't get to where they need to get to right now because all these different roads are closed off. <laughs> and right, right ahead here, we got the squad. We got backup. It's popping off. Many po po. Entering the fray. <laughs> She's just trying to get to work. One thing's for certain. I didn't dress appropriately for this. It's gonna be way hotter than I expected, so I'll be sweating my ass off real soon. But shit's crazy around here. It's all confused. Everybody doesn't know where they're going. Traffic's annoying. People are just everywhere. It feels semi-apocalyptic. <laughs> I'm fully expecting for one of these to get smashed out or burned today. <laughs> Not a thing, eh? Yo, 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 see of red. I feel so bad for anybody having to work through this today. It's like, I can just see the frustration on people's slit faces. That, uh, that 7-Eleven had literally, was full to the tits. There's like a nightclub in there. And the line for 7-Eleven was like 80 people deep. You'd probably take like an hour to just check out with, I was gonna get a Red Bull, but fuck all that. My favorite guy all day, for sure. <laughs> Fucking Mr. Rogers with the bucket hat and the cloudy zone. That guy was dope. Okay, I'm off to find uh, some sort of a beverage refreshment here. And then uh, I'm gonna... I mean, okay, that's enough. Essentially what I'm trying to say is I've convinced myself to get a drink for this joyous moment. Had to stop off for a Gatorade Zero. Zero sugar, but zero vodka? No, lots of vodka. Shake it, shake it, shake it up. A mixed vodka Gatorade. Cheers. I I wanna like infiltrate a hotel, go up and find like a window to get a shot like an overview of the city shot because like it's crazy i want to see the sea of people but i just know hotels are being hardcore right now they're just like detecting these people yo one thing that is extremely dope about this is it makes vlogging completely fucking normal you just, you out here doing this thing and everybody else is doing it too, so you actually feel legit. Another random paranoid thought is like, it's situations like this is when fucking people load a clip and open up on mass amounts of people and weirdly in my mind I keep thinking like, I'm just waiting for somebody to, to fucking just start spraying the gat or something, I don't know, it's weird, but I know it's a, a fucked up thought, but it's like how I feel, oh shit.
Other side note, this is immediately more fun after having like a drink. I tell you that much. I'm trying to schmiegel my way to a better viewing spot because they're coming down university right now. And people are definitely getting lit, man. Everybody's smoking weed because it's Canada, right? You can just smoke weed in Canada. And fucking everybody's drinking, as you can see. Just smells like backwoods and weed. It's just blunts on blunts on blunts being smoked. Checking back in with some sunglasses list thoughts this time. So, got to another dead end. Tried my best to get through, but everywhere you go, it's just like everybody's just so congested and blocked off. So I'm trying to find like a good quality area to get to to, to document all this shit. Two thoughts. First of all, it's cool to see people come together like this. It's too bad it's for the reason of basketball instead of overthrowing you know, Justin Trudeau or Doug Ford, but it still shows that there's potential for us to all come together. Yo, skate gang, skate gang, skate gang. <laughs> Next thought, uh, I'm hearing so much patois, so many Toronto mans talk out, out here in these streets right now, which is very funny to me, but it is what it is. I'm also experiencing this crowd-related uh, YouTuber paranoia for the first time in my life, thinking that someone's going to recognize me and I'm just going to get suckered out of nowhere. <laughs> that or embraced, but I feel like for some reason today somebody would just be like, oh, that's Black Hoodie, and just fucking sucker me out. <laughs> Shit is taking forever. This parade has been like held up, held up, held up. I mean, I expect it as much, but it's just taking fucking forever, and I'm trying to find an optimal location to uh, document the receival of the final thing but uh, I'll say this as I cruise around I just come to these more deep more philosophical things maybe philosophical I don't even know but I'll say this much first things first when you get out in a scenario like this you realize that holy fuck there's a lot of fucking people just in this city alone and then you times that by the world and honestly, it makes you feel like so insignificant. So there's that. Also, there's dudes jamming on guitars. Griffin! I'll say this. Some days when you're living in, in a city like this, you're like, why the fuck do I live here? This shit is insane. It's too much. It's too crazy. It's too many people. It's this, that, and the other. And right now is the epitome of that. But alternatively, it feels like it's like a moment like this is why it like justifies it. You're like, oh my god, I actually live somewhere kind of fucking cool where like true shit really happens. And it feels dope, even though it's insane and intense and everything like that. It still feels fucking dope. I can't lie. The fucking, the energy, the spirit, the community, the everything that's happening right now. It makes it, you know, seem kind of worth it. And then you come and do this, and you're like, oh yeah, I remember. I remember why I fuck with living here. Because sometimes I don't. Sometimes I, I question it all, because it's really hard. But, you know what? In this moment, it's legit.
legit. It feels really, really cool, really, really dope. Exactly as I fucking said earlier, 
I even thought to myself, I said, at some point, I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for somebody to hit, hit up, like start shooting and shit. And what happened right now, the whole crowd just broke up because somebody started popping off. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. See the police? It be that way. Somebody shot a gun. I'm getting the fuck out. I'm getting away. I'm going way away from where it could be. So I, I'm going to be fine. But you know what I mean? I knew this earlier in the day. I said it. I said it. I fucking said it. I knew this would be a type of situation where somebody would take advantage of that and try to fuck people up with guns. It's so stupid. So fucking stupid. I guess this is it. This is the truth. I am safe now. I just went through the craziest thing in my life. A whole like running away from what we all thought was getting shot at on some shit. I just fucking fell down through I was running away from what I thought was getting shot at and we fell down through a like parking s you know parking garage whatever da, da, da. we me and like families and children went and like rolled down this thing and now we're back and we're okay so I'm alive we're back and it's good but at the same time that was fucking crazy and so scary so scary